check your classifiers, folks. Check, check your, check your classifiers. for those who don't know I've known this right along but uh, this is my 100 mesh classifier and where the screen goes underneath this little lip right here of course I classify wet and you don't always see but when I go to use it the next time I see gold so I cleaned out this pan and I tapped and I tapped and I tapped each side tap 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 dumping it in there tap 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 <laughs> and look at this that was all stuck all around this rim right here check your classifiers folks Hello, greetings everybody, Joseph, Green Mountain Gold Trap, and I went and I retrieved Adam today to get him out and get his head clear. <laughs> right, he needed a new day. So Adam, what did we have to work with here? Hardly anything. As you see, we're running off of right our river here. Yeah. When we got here, there was like really... Little water. No, it was just trickling. Perfect. I mean, literally, just trickling, like, uh, like this, basically. Just what you see coming down through here. So, for people out in areas that, I mean, if you got a river and you can divert some water, move some boulders, move some rocks, what we did was we packed where Adam's feet are, packed leaves in, old leaves from fall, packed leaves in to block water flow, packed leaves, moved rocks. Probably move a little bit more right here and get even more flow. Pack that spot in right there. Move some stuff up here. Move some stuff down here and voila. We got ourselves a setup. And I just checked it. I threw some material on the skid plate. I've got excellent action inside the gold trap and the capture tray. I would like more flow because then it would move all the bigger rocks off from there. So we're going to have to, uh, as we're shoveling on, we're going to have to re remove any rocks, you know, that size and bigger, of course, because they're just not going to, they're not going to go up and over. See? This is the spot that I've been wanting to get to. I was hoping that there was more flow here, but we made it work. This is the old, this is where the river used to come down through, down through here, but all this land got wiped out over there. So now the river's moved over, but this is a good spot. So we're gonna see what we can get and we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. Adam wants to get to digging. <laughs> I'm ready. It's been uh, quite a winter. <laughs> yeah. All right. So why did I find that situation in my 100 mesh classifier? Well, this is the material that Secret Creek Prospecting sent me from his area, and I decided today while I'm working, I would go ahead and you know run some of it through the blue bowl. I'm not gonna you know this is gonna. <laughs> The blue bowl is slow. I, I really do not care for the blue bowl, so don't expect that I'm going to be showing you guys what I find at the end of the day when I get through this, because that ain't happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. It's a slow, slow process. But anyway, I figured I'd go ahead and classify some of it down, um, just make it easier to run. I did take the dream mat out because it just did nah, I I don't care for it. Dream Mat is awesome. It really is great stuff. But for the Blue Bowl, I just it, it just doesn't it doesn't do it for me. It slows the water down. I can't even get 
with the pump that I use, and I can't remember how many gallons per minute or hour this is. I, I don't know. It's a pond pump. Um, it, you can't get the water to come up over the top. It's like an inch or inch and a half down below the top, cranked wide open. So I'm running the material. What I did was I took this out, and I took some fine sandpaper, and I went all around the bottom in a circular motion and up the cone so then I started running some of it and it just sits in there and I've got it almost running almost all the way up to the top but I'm gonna go ahead and classify and see how that works out so we shall see check your classifiers yeah, so Adam's still up here running. He's been digging in this hole here, but still been digging in this. Yeah, yeah. Right, in there, right across. Yeah, yeah. But I, uh, I decided to walk down to where him and I were digging out a big hole last year, and remembered once I got down there, there was a section of bedrock that's really iron stained and so on and so forth so I came back up here and got my little suction bulb we're gonna take a walk down there and see what I get I'll show you what I'm doing down there back in a bit And this is bedrock. Years ago, when the river used to be over here, literally right here, and this was the old channel, this was all overburdened. So you could only see like this little corner of this bedrock, but now it's all exposed even more. You look at all the bugs that are inside this thing, little pockets. So what I've been doing is taking my, uh, taking that sucker bulb that I got from Railroad Toy and Hobbies, the Reinhardt dredge, and sucking up material out of these little pockets and putting it in my van. So I'm going to keep doing that. See what we get out of it. You never know. Are you kidding me right now? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> um, Secret Creek Prospecting, you need to, I don't know if you're allowed to, where you're at, where this come from, but I'd be running a high banker of some sort out there. You got to be kidding me. Please focus. It's not going to focus. Come on. That has got to be 800 or more tiny nano dots of gold. I can... <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Do you know how much that was? Y you all saw what was in the bottom of my blue bowl, right? that I told you just wasn't moving and I had it cranked all the way at the top. I sucked that out of there because I got everything classified so I'm getting ready to run some of that. And I said, well, I'm going to have to pan it. So that was only Oh, come on. I might have run that much material. Right, be serious right now. Look, you need you need to run some of this stuff. What are you what are you thinking? <laughs> um, I don't think I'm gonna get much done today, cause that just uh, that just lit a fire under my backside. Okay. 
that's how much material I pull out out of those little pockets. So, let's see if there's anything in it. Spin it off. process better in the blue bowl. Well, we got a considerable amount of black sand in it and this is all hematite here. There's pieces of hematite up in here, smaller pieces. So that's pretty interesting. As I was going back to get the camera, I plucked out two pieces of hematite that were as big as this out of this embankment right here. And I bet you if I look, I can spot that stuff a mile away. Bet you if I look, I can find us a piece right now. So somebody else must have cleaned those pockets out somehow, maybe with a snuffer bottle or something, because there should have been more. So this is all just flood gold. But there's only there's only five pieces in there. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see them. Probably not focusing. I can't see on the screen if it is or not. But they're real small. Especially two or three of them. But that's okay. I didn't get skunked, right? <laughs> I just heard somebody shooting over there. Luckily, we're behind all this falling down trees. Because who knows which way they're shooting. All right, Adam's testing over in here, which I suggested, a lot of black sand. All right, I'm back in a bit. So this is the gold from up above when we ran the gold trap. About 40 pieces in there, but it's all small. So now I'm just gonna do some test pans out of here. Adam's done some pans, he found a couple pieces. So I'll see what we can do here.
I think we're going to call it quits. Adam and I have dug this. He moved a bunch of rocks. <laughs> That's how we were able to get a set up here. <laughs> but we dug this out pretty good. I mean, it, more the better off I mean, the gravel was right across here. So we dug it out pretty good. We'll, uh, I'm going to have to pick the gold trap up because there's no way the bucket, if I put the bucket on there, the water's just going to rage around it. So. so we'll see what we get here. Back in a minute here. All right, so that is the minus 50. You can see the depth in this two and a half quart bucket. I have not touched it yet. It's just classified, and that is the minus 100. And that's what I've been working on that you saw me using the uh, spin it off tool. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. John, if you didn't take off, you would have been able to get my head screwed on straight. <laughs> but it's screwed on straight now. So, Anyway, um, I only processed maybe five spoonfuls with the spin it off. And it reduced it by quite a bit. So, much, much better, and it runs much smoother in the blue bowl. But I've probably done maybe 15 spoons, not even full spoonfuls in the blue bowl. And that's what I've retrieved so far. Can't really see it too good inside the little vial, but you get the idea. So, I'm going to end this for tonight I need to go sit down it's uh, it's almost seven o'clock and I want I want to go sit down so I'll catch you all later thanks for watching I'll keep you posted on this and uh, I'll just show you gold here and there it's gonna take a while to go through this so all right we got about another 25 30 pieces Not too bad. Could have done better, but we got some gold. And we're getting the head cleared out. <laughs> That's right. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Mm -hmm.